Planning is well underway right now for the 43rd running of the Boulder Vulture. More than 1.4 million people have taken part of this Memorial Day tradition for the past four and a half decades. And while the idea of getting in shape before the Memorial Day race to actually run the race <laughs> may seem impossible to you, our Katie LaSalle tells us more people are signing up to take the course at a slower pace. <music> Since its beginnings back in 1979, the Boulder Boulder has built a world-class reputation that attracts some of the fastest runners in the world. You got this! Love affair of uh, running through a city of Boulder. Runners who like the challenge of competing at more than a mile above sea level. I guess the throwdowns that we have is, well, sea levels for sissies, come run at Boulder Boulder. But for locals, the Memorial Day tradition is less competition and more celebration. Love the costume! <laughs> That includes, you know, the 35 or 40 bands that are on the course and Elvis impersonators and a monster slip and slide. After a two year pandemic forced hiatus, more than 28,000 people crossed the finish line at CU's Folsom Field last Memorial Day. According to Run Sign Up and Runner's World, that made the Boulder Boulder the seventh largest road race in the U.S. last year. I guess we heard somebody after running it, the quote was, there's nothing quite like it. And we agree. While there were fewer participants last year than before the pandemic, race director Cliff Bosley says there was an increase in more casual participation. People who just wanted to walk or jog the course. Either people are getting slower, which might be part of it, or we're actually, uh, uh, people got invested in or excited about fitness during the pandemic. Whether a fitness craze or a desire to just be part of the iconic race, Bosley says last year's registrations also showed another shift, an increase in younger participants. The number of uh, people under 30 has increased uh, since before the pandemic. Boulder Boulder organizers hope to see even more participants on the course this year, but no matter their speed or the age, Bosley just hopes they're having fun. It's the sport of running, it's uh, honoring those that serve, and it's this wonderful Boulder community. We're honored that that happens in Boulder and that we get to be a part of that. You can register for the Boulder Boulder up until race day, which is May 29th, and it's easier and cheaper if you register in advance. Just visit boulderboulder.com and you can sign up there.